Hey, hello chat, hello community. Um, I'm gonna be cooking a frozen pizza and doing a review. And then, side by side, I'm gonna be cooking my own homemade pizza. Listen here, chat. Here's, I got all my ingredients for my homemade pizza. I got some mozzarella cheese I just shredded up, some sausage, pepperoni, and my own homemade pizza sauce I made yesterday. So, without any further ado, today we're going to do a side-by-side -side fucking rating and comparison of this pizza here, Tillamook. I heard good things about Tillamook. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Tillamook. Alright, let's take it out of the box without any further ado. And I'm going to put my own toppings on it, chat. Alright, here's the Tillamook. And I think it's going to only take eight minutes to cook. This is fully thought out, right? I'm using my pizza steel. I have the oven preheated to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think I'm not really a pepperoni head. But we'll just put limited pepperoni on this pizza. How about that? Ah, see? Gotta be careful. All right, we have it in the pizza peel. We're gonna let it go for about eight minutes. See you in eight minutes. Tillamook. Three cheese pizza. The melty cheese blend of whole milk mozzarella. Oh, whole milk mozzarella. Let's underline that. Award winning yellow cheddar in Monterey, Monterey Jack cheese. Plus savory red sauce on a crispy stone fired crust. Ooh, I'm enthralled. Here's the dough for my homemade style pizza at home. <laughs> Let's get some cheese, uh, flour on that and gently take it out. <sighs> gently take it out. We're going to stretch that pizza now. We want to get some more flour on that on both sides. And we're going to Gently, and this is the side you really want the flour on there. You don't want it sticking to the counter. And it's really stretching to the consistency that I like and admire. But like I said, we got to make sure it gets that flour so it doesn't stick to the pizza peel. Oh, it's stretching so easily because I let this sit out for a couple hours, so... This pizza is going to be enthralled with flavor and uniqueness. All right, so where's the... So I'm going to use cornmeal on the bottom. A little bit of cornmeal on the bottom. On a pizza peel, I'm going to spread some cornmeal on the pizza peel. Is pizza peel, it's going to get some of that cornmeal on the bottom. It's going to make the crust a little, it's going to make the crust better as well. There we go. It's on the pizza peel. Now we're going to get some tomato sauce on there. Pizza sauce, actually. Technically, this is pizza sauce. No, a regular spoon. I just don't want it being patchy or anything. Echo off, please. All right, we got that. Let's get the other one out of the fucking oven.
The other one is ready. We'll put this, put the other one over here. Let it cool down a little bit. And some sausage on here. I tell you what, I just want sausage on here. I don't want pepperoni. Because I have pepperoni on the other one. I don't want to get all pepperonied out. And let's get it in the oven. For the moment of the truth. Make sure it can fly off the pizza peel. And it's in the oven. Here's the Tillamook pizza. And let's slice into it. Actually, this looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. have a taste test. See if it has a cheese pull. Well, crust is good. Crust is nice and crunchy for a frozen pizza. Remember, we're dealing with a frozen pizza. My expectations are really low for frozen pizza. For frozen pizza, they really did a good job on their fucking crust. Tastes pretty good. But, next to my New York style pizza is probably going to be shit. Alright, so, that means I'm going to rotate the pizza. I'm going to rotate the pizza or just have a look at it. Echo off. Look how it's coming along, chat. I tell you, you can't compare my New York style pizza versus fucking anything. Echo off. Echo set timer for four minutes. Four minutes. Stop. I mean, it, they use whole milk mozzarella cheese on here. The crust is really good. I mean, for a frozen pizza. And the cheese, the cheese has nice flavor to it. It doesn't, it's not stringy. It doesn't have that pull that I like. But, um, overall, this Tillamook, it's a really decent pizza for a frozen pizza, man. And I like the fucking crust. I mean, look, look how crispy that crust came out. Tillamook is famous for their cheeses, by the way, so everything blends blends well. Everything blends together great. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this an 8. For, for frozen pizza, by the way, and it cost fucking 10 bucks, by the way. It was $9.99 plus tax. I mean, you... you if you want to get decent pizza, some frozen pizza, you have to pay a little bit more money, I guess. Um, maybe I should save my appetite for my pizza. My homemade New York style pizza. Look, I'm even I'm eating eating the crust here. Mm. Echo off. Oh my God. Now, you can't compare my pizza, New York style pizza, with that fucking frozen pizza shit. This is on a different rating system. <laughs> Mm. 
This is on a totally different playing field. This is my homemade New York style pizza. I made the pizza sauce myself. I made the dough myself. You can see videos of me making New York style dough on my on my channel. Let's let that rest for like three minutes. For that New York City style, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, so you get that layer of oil that everybody likes and admires. Alright, we're going to go dive into this slice here, in no particular order. Oh, god damn. Okay, let's get ready to rumble. Fuck. I know it's going to be cheesy. Oh my god. All right, put it this way. <clears throat> and I'm not bragging. But this, you can't compare these two. There's no way you can fucking legitimately compare the fucking two. It's still fucking hot, as you can see. See that cheese pull? Whole milk mozzarella cheese. Deliciosis! That's fucking 9.5. Fucking Fucking, that's a nine and a half. Fuck it, dude. Compared to that shit, New Perfection. It reminds me of New York City. <laughs> I mean, side by side. We're talking about a fucking Volkswagen, a fucking beat up fucking 1970s Volkswagen to a fucking Rolls Royce. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. You can't compare them. And the, you can tell that that pizza sauce that I made it was made with love. It's it just so, like, when you get these canned tomato sauces or this sauce, it's all fucking, you don't even know what, they don't... They, they make the sauce so it lasts a long time. They put all these strange ingredients in there. It's not like whole. Oh, look at that fucking crust. You know what? I, I'm honestly going to stop doing the frozen pizza reviews because I have no passion for it. You don't realize how shit... The frozen pizza is, no matter how much you pay, for this fucking thing was $10. You know, this? all these ingredients were like $2 for this pizza. I mean. Look at that, chat. It's like fold. Look at that fucking fold. Look, look at that texture of that crust. We're going to be playing that in slow motion. <laughs> you know what? You know what makes me happy? You know why I was in a pissed off mood yesterday? You know why? Because the frozen pizza sucked. The frozen pizza was not elegant. It was not exquisite. You know what makes me happy? Good fucking food. Good fucking pizza. Authentic pizza. 
New York style. I perfected the New York style pizza. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to probably try to do New Haven style pizza, but I pretty much perfected the New York style pizza in the kitchen oven. <laughs> like everything on this pizza is fresh. It's elegant. It's silky. And then you go to this fucking shit. You go to this shit. You go to this frozen pizza fucking turd versus this. Another pizza review by the OG Geezer, also known as the Yeti. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys when I see you. Find the solution!